Hey geeks, what do George Plimpton, Fred Gwynn, and John Updike all have in common? They're all white dudes. They're all kind of funny, I guess? <laughs> so naturally, they've all also served as president of the Harvard Lampoon. We're going to tell you all about that, as well as a couple of combo breakers, <laughs> on this week's Random Knowledge. Wait a minute, I'm a kind of funny white dude. I'm Geeks You Drink, Chief Editor Christopher Short. Every year we write 22,000 quiz questions, 20 words each. Some of those stories deserve more time, so we made a video series. We're Geeks You Drink and we read stuff all the damn time. We read stuff all the damn time. This is Random Knowledge. The Harvard Lampoon got its start in America's centennial year, 1876. <laughs> For most of its history, the club has been known for two things. Vaguely humorous on-campus pranks, and magazines that take the piss out of the parochial world of Harvard itself. It's basically the American archetype of college boys behaving sort of badly. Or at least it was until 1982, when Lisa Henson was elected as its first female president. Yes, that's right. The Harvard Lampoon is to Jim Henson's eldest daughter as the United States of America are to... Uh, your name here. But backing up to the mid-20th century, as their notoriety grew, so did their publication base. And their work was featured in Time, Cosmo, Sports Illustrated, and Playboy. Yes, Playboy has always had articles, but that still doesn't excuse your Uncle Jimmy for leaving it out like that. The 70s saw the pinnacle of the Lampoon's success, with many of its writers helping to create SNL and Animal House. In fact, to this day, the Harvard Lampoon gets a big chunk of its budget from a licensing agreement with the rotting corpse of the National Lampoon. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at Harvard, the best-known semi-recent presidents were Conan O'Brien and Colin Jost. But it's also churned out plenty of other current TV writers, including this week's real subject, Alexis Wilkinson. Alexis grew up just down the road from the Onion's headquarters in Madison, Wisconsin, and created her own newsletter in high school, where she began to hone her comedy chops and even won a few awards. When she wasn't writing jokes, she was a bright science and math student, and so she applied to nearly 20 schools for biomedical engineering and economics, finally settling at Harvard Econ. But the comedy bug doesn't unbite, and as a freshman, Alexis wrote 50-plus comedy pieces for the Harvard Lampoon's audition process, which they call comps. She made it, and she went from writer to comps director, and then in 2014, she became their first black president. Though she said various things about how much she was thinking about that during the campaign. In any case, she wasn't content to rest on her historic laurels. Under her direction, the Lampoon went from four or five issues a year to seven, and Alexis's byline appeared in Time and Cosmo. Not Playboy, though. Anyway, after she graduated with her econ degree in 2015, Alexis went Hollywood, and she's written for Funny or Die, Veep, and Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and she published a holiday piece last year in The New Yorker. Not a bad resume for somebody who's still just four years out of college. And if you can remember how Alexis Wilkinson got her breakthrough, then you'll get yourself a point at the regular Geeks Who Drink quiz on this date right here. Right here. Check out GeeksWhoDrink.com to find out where and when we're quizzing in your neighborhood. And do us a solid by liking and subscribing. It's our favorite. Bye.